name is Ahan and this is my girlfriend. Clinette. Clinette. <laughs> And that's Clinate. Yeah, a lot of people call like when they send us messages, they call her Clinate because this dumbass made her Instagram handle literally just her name but with an A instead of the E. So yeah. not everyone thinks that's her name, but it's Clinette. Clinette. So today we're gonna do a QA. Um we actually promised to do this a long time ago, but something's happened with um my SD card, so we lost the footage. Um so we're finally together again after three months. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's get started. Um, so we did get quite a lot of questions. We're not gonna answer every single one of them, but like I would say like 95%. Uh, just because some of them we answered, like uh, we talked a lot about it in our girlfriend tag. Um, so the how did you two meet? We did get that one a lot. Uh, you can hear the story in our girlfriend tag and you can actually like see the first time we met in real life that was our first video together first question who's the clingy one i i don't know why you say that we're literally <laughs> both as clingy it's the both of us you you want your image of like no <laughs> wait you actually don't think so you think i'm more clingy no I, we're at the same level okay i was just kidding who gets jealous the most? Mm. We don't really mm, yeah. <laughs> get jealous. I don't think there's a situation where we... I like, feel like I would get more easily jealous, but there hasn't really been a situation for me to be jealous. But I don't think there's gonna be a situation yeah, where we're so. gonna be jealous. But I think I would be more a jealous person than you. Not in like a toxic bad way, but more like... In a cute way? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think she, she's the yeah. one who's gonna be jealous too. Do you guys have plans on visiting the Philippines? Since Clinate <laughs> is Filipina. <laughs> do I answer? answer? Yeah. We do, of course. Right now it's um, not like in the near future because of COVID. Like, travel is. Like, we, we're having trouble like visiting each other, and she lives in the US, I live in Canada, so like. Going to the Philippines right now is not really in the plans, um, but we do like as soon as travel is possible again, we do really want to visit the Philippines. Mm -hmm. it, she hasn't been back since moving to the U.S. So mm -hmm. how long has it been? Like a year and a half. A year and a half. Uh, and I really, really want to like meet her family, and I really want to visit the Philippines. Like I want to see the ocean. Yeah. I want to eat the food except for balut. She's gonna try but I will never. <laughs> That's the one thing I said. I will never try it. Um, I think we're yeah. looking like in a year or so. Yeah, our plan was like December, January, but at this point, like it's just getting closer and closer and there's still so many travel restrictions. I don't think that's really realistic. Mm -hmm. Like we would love it, but um, it's probably gonna be sometime in 2022. Yeah. Yeah. We got quite a few questions like similar to this one, but we'll mm -hmm. just answer it in one. Long-term plans. Who's moving where? Clint to Canada or Ariane to US? Um, so there's nothing set in stone as of now. Uh, the one thing is that when we do like finally decide to move, whether it's in Canada or in the US, when we actually move together permanently because right now we can see each other like for example right now she's um, staying here uh, for a few months but it's, it's not permanent uh, even though we're basically living together but when we permanently like move in together we know that we have to get married so um, we can't start the process to do that even though I think we would like to start that like the paperwork too because it can take from like a year two years yeah um, we would love to start it right now, but we do have to be married before. So before we can be together, someone needs to propose. Yeah. <laughs> um, once that's done, we still need to like, for sure, decide, are we moving to the US? Are we moving to Canada? Mm -hmm. The one thing that we know, because I made it clear from the beginning, is that I don't want to spend my life in the US, especially if one day we decide we want to have kids um i like said it from the beginning if we have a family like i'm never gonna raise kids yeah in the u.s 
However, she just moves here right away. She doesn't get her U.S. citizenship. So that, those are things we need to take into consideration. So um, probably the most likely plan that we have is um, that I would move to California for a few years and then once we actually are ready to like really settle and have a family, then we'll we would come back to Canada and like yeah. spend our life here. When we're ready to settle, I think Canada is really the best yeah. way for us. But I actually would love to, because I love California, so I would love to live in LA for a few Live years. Live there in our 20s. We just, for now, we still need to decide, like, financially, is yeah. that a good move or not. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's basically our plans. So nothing set in stone, but that's what we're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you know when it, once it's decided. But as long as you don't see us married, that means we're, no one's moving yet. <laughs> What languages do you speak? I, I'll just quickly answer that one because we have talked about it in the girlfriend tag, I think, but I speak Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn Spanish. Um, my first language is French. My first language is Filipino, Tagalog. And both of our like, second languages English. English. So we communicate in English because I don't speak Tagalog. She doesn't speak French. Um, yeah. So hopefully our kids will speak. <laughs> So we're bilingual. Hopefully our kids will be trilingual. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason we want to have kids. But <laughs> it's kind of a really smart one. When were you born? So we still get a lot of questions and comments like, oh my god, you look so young. Like people think we're like 16, 17. We do look very young, especially I look very young, but she looks like a freaking baby. <laughs> We are, she's actually older than me. I'm 22. She's I'm 24. Yeah, I'm born in 1980. 1980. Uh, <laughs> 1980! <laughs> I'm born in 1998. I'm 1997. Yeah, we have like a year and a half apart. <laughs> so we look like babies, but we're not. <laughs> what did you study? I'll let you answer that. I studied Bachelor of Arts in Communication in Adamson University in the Philippines. Uh, I studied a few things in college, never really dis like deciding on what I want to do. Um, then I just stopped for a while and put off university. What makes or keeps your relationship strong? What makes us keep the relationship strong? Cuddles. <laughs> our communication is like really good. Yeah. Like we talk about everything. And yeah, what do you think? I agree. I think that's like there's a lot of good things about our relationship, but I think if we didn't have that aspect of it like completely down, I feel like the other stuff doesn't matter that much. Like mm -hmm. keep the relationship healthy and strong. Yeah, we have a very like open and healthy communication yeah. system. I think. How t how do you handle the long distance relationship? Um, we're always on Facetime. I 24-7 <laughs> I mean, it's not just that But I think even if we weren't on FaceTime Like the one thing that makes us makes us handle the relation, the long distance is, At least for me, I'm talking for me Is that we have plans for the future Yeah Because if we were only like I know a lot of people are like Let's live day to day You never know what will happen tomorrow But if that's the view we both had on our relationship I don't think it would work Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably what a lot of long distance couples um, deal with is mm -hmm. if you're living like that, like you're just stuck in what you're feeling right now in the days, because it is hard, like I've cried many times like just because I miss her um, so like it's not always sunshine and rainbows mm -hmm. but when you do have that aspect of like oh right now it's tough but it's because we're like heading for that. Yeah, like when you know you have like a clear plan, like yeah. I feel like when the long distance, like when the distance gets tough, um, then it's bearable because we're looking forward to yeah. something. What do you love most about each other? So the thing I love most about her is also something that pisses me off sometimes. Oh no! What is it? <laughs> and it's a good thing. It's just like it's so much that sometimes it like angers me and it's how kind she is 
Like, that's something I feel like you say about a lot of people. I was like, scared I thought you were gonna say something. I feel like that's a very common, like, quality uh, that you'll give someone. Like, ah, uh, she's nice, she's a kind person, but like, Lynette is literally the kindest person I have ever met and I'm not kidding like she's so kind like her heart is so good and she always always like tries to see the best in people and that is why sometimes it pisses me off because it's like sometimes there will be a lot of bad things about someone but she'll like want to focus on the positive which is a good thing but sometimes also like it will <laughs> <laughs> it, sometimes like it can like you know. I love it. But she is <laughs> so kind. Not really. Just you kidding. are. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. So that, yeah. There are many things I love about you, but that is my favorite thing about you. I want to thank my parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that she's very independent. Like, that attracted me the most to when I met her. She has her own thing, that's why I love her. Miss Independent. It's a song. <laughs> also, she's very smart. Like, book and life smart. And I really like her. And she's very talented. You were supposed to say one thing. <laughs> well, there's a lot. Yeah, she's independent, she's smart, and she's talented. I really love that smart. And she makes me laugh. I think. That's one of the thing I love about her is she makes me laugh. You're the only person I meet. She's laugh. very funny to me. You're very funny <laughs> to me too. <laughs> this was a question to Clinet. Have you introduced Ahyan to your family? What was their reaction? I think we also got another question for this somewhere. Like, did we introduce each other to our family? Okay, I'll answer first. Yes, I did. It was the day after New Year. I introduced her to my family and... On FaceTime. Yeah, on FaceTime. <laughs> and they like her. They were really supportive. Like it's, I think it's the first time that I actually introduce a girlfriend to you my. You think? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time that I actually introduce a girlfriend to my family, and we were really scared. But having her I with wasn't me, scared. I was scared. Having her <laughs> with me on that FaceTime, like it really helped. And my parents are amazing, and they were very sweet and supportive. Their siblings knew already. Yeah. But it's just that my parents didn't know yeah. but yeah they're very nice i'm excited to like it's hard to like get to know each other really on facetime <laughs> but i'm very excited to meet them clina has met like has seen my parents on facetime, FaceTime. many many times like i think you saw them before we were even like officially dating yeah i think so yeah on facetime because i live at my parents house when we first started dating um so they would often see us on facetime Favorite food? You answer for me, I answer for you. Her favorite food? Korean barbecue, ramen, boba, both are food and a drink. Boba milk tea. <laughs> um, am I missing something? No. Korean bar I love Korean barbecue, but my favorite food is ramen. Instant ramen. Shin mm -hmm. ramen. Mm -hmm. Korean instant ramen. Spicy. Spicy. And. If boba counts as a food, like boba. Mm -hmm. Yours is like basically. I got it. Yours is basically any Filipino food, but sinigang? Yes. Hey, I love Korean barbecue too. Yeah, but is it like your favorite food? I like it. Okay, <laughs> and Korean barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> what would you recommend for people in long distance relationship? P.S. I love you both. Love you too. Love you too. I think like our answer of like what keeps you strong, like how do you handle the distance kind of falls into that. Like mm -hmm. communicate and plan plan but things to like look forward to and FaceTime a lot because otherwise it feels lonely, like it can it could start feeling like, like you're not really in a relationship, yeah. like if you're just texting. Um, I know some people, like, we're a little bit extreme, like, I don't think every long-distance relationship couple, long-distance couple is literally 24 hours, 7, mm -hmm. on FaceTime, but I do recommend, like, spending a chunk of your day on FaceTime, like, at yeah. least spending time, time. Yeah, depends what 
love your love languages. Yeah, you love also, love. yeah, because quality time is like one of our lo love languages. Yeah. So. And like sleeping on FaceTime also. Oh, yeah, yeah. sleeping on FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are the struggles you two have encountered and how uh, did the. How did you both deal with um, We have some small arguments. At first, like, we really didn't fight, like, but we have small arguments because I come from a different culture and she comes from a different culture. So sometimes there's like... It clashes. It clashes. Bit. Yeah. But like, the good thing about us, I want to learn about her culture and she Which wants to learn. Which is not a lot, but... Yeah, <laughs> she wants to learn about mine, so like, we talk about things. There's not like huge, like, cultural differences that like, makes it hard to understand each other like but sometimes like there's things that we'll have different mm -hmm. opinions on um because of our background mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i guess the struggle is the long distance yeah but yeah. we manage it pretty well mm -hmm. our relationship is perfect <laughs> no. I, I think i know that we have very different i don't know if the same is it the same word in english Temper temperaments tem temperament. what is this Temper. We have different tempers. Yes. You're more like easily like not frustrated or like annoyed. Mm -hmm. And then like overly sensitive. So I feel like the only struggles we have come from that. Yes. Yeah, I agree. If you're going to a country, just the two of you, where would it be and why there? I think she's gonna answer her first option would be Greece and then Korea. Did I got it right? I, I'm not counting the Philippines because it's like yeah, we're not just we a know trip, we're gonna go there. Know we're gonna go there. It's, it's, it's mainly to meet your family. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, apart from that, one place I want us to go together is Greece. Yeah. I, feel like it would be I so got it right. <laughs> like a beach vacation, but Greece is like it's not just a beach vacation, it's a whole mood. Yeah, like, it's different. Like eating pastries on our balcony, like, looking at the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, like, <laughs> that's not gonna be in the near future because I want, like, yeah. I told her if I'm, I'm all for traveling cheaply. Like when I went to Korea, I went to like a capsule, hostel. Um, I like, yeah, but if I go to Greece, I want the fancy experience. Oh, what is hi? That's our cat. Mainly my cat, but there you go. <laughs> we name it Boba. But we're both the moms. It's just I have the, I have custody. If we're not gonna go to Greece yet, our first travel would be the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be dreamy there too. Yeah. What activities will you be doing next? So right now, um, she literally just got here mm -hmm. to Canada. She completed her quarantine. So now is the time that I get to show her around. I live in Quebec City. Um, I don't love living here, but it is a very nice, nice. <laughs> it is a very nice city to visit as a tourist. I know that, so I'm excited to like show her the old town. And we found lots of things we want to see. Uh, with COVID, I don't know how it's gonna work for the rest because I do plan on taking her to Montreal. And, and Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Um, so activities include um, hiking. Yeah, we want to do camping. a lot of hiking. Hiking, camping. Um, well, we sound like active lesbians. Hey, I'm <laughs> active. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> um, we haven't. You haven't been either in the last few months. Because of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, yeah, walking around the old city, which is very pretty. Um, going for boba. There's only two, two boba places here. When we go to Montreal, I want to do a vlog that's just us trying all the boba places. Yeah. And other things. Yeah, just exploring places. Yeah, see museums. Food. We'll have more vlogs. And if yeah. you have any suggestion for like any future activities that you would want us to see, yeah, tell us. And that's where this video is going to end. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, uh, let us know and we can definitely do another q and A in the future. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think that's that's it. it. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and especially subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>
tried to block the camera. Yeah. 